What's up champions fam, it's Zeke 4 back on a brand new WWE Champions video and we got a brand new contest live in game commemorating and celebrating the official in-ring in-game debut of Attitude Era striker Psycho Sid, master and ruler of the world and this is a contest and a set of blitzes that no one should be passing up. I strongly suggest and advise each and every single one of you to go all in and do as much as possible because you will truly be able to reap the rewards of your efforts. Now, let's be realistic, y'all. This blitz is pretty much a rinse and repeat of the former Hogan blitz. That is right. So I do suggest you go all in and commit to doing as many runs as possible so you can walk away truly satisfied with your efforts with the amount of rewards and resources that you can accumulate now let's break some things down you have two blitzes you can do you have a normal blitz as you can see here that's going to cost you 300 blitz tickets regular blitz tickets at that and it's going to be six matches in total you're going to be able to get some medallions you're also going to get a bag and within this bag you're going to get an opportunity to get some loop pulls so you can pull on the regular Sid loop banner. You're also going to get an opportunity at medallions to help out with spending on the prize wall that's up for a limited time. And you're going to get a shot at some absolutely free premium tickets for the premium blitz. Now the premium blitz is going to be four matches. You're going to have a chance to get some more medallions to help out with that prize wall spending. And you're going to get a bag that not only get this right, it doesn't just offer you more medallions at a higher quantity. You're also going to get a shot at both the regular Sid Banner pulls and the premium Sid Banner pulls that offer more medallions and just straight up cards of Sid and bigger quantities of shards of Sid. So this is definitely something that feeds into itself. You run the regular blitz. You get to do runs of the premium blitz. You get a chance to do some absolutely free pulls on both the regular uh, regular banner for Sid and the premium exclusive Sid banner. You cannot lose with this situation. And even if you get scoped, you go to do your pulls, you get nothing but shards of champions that you already have. Well, that saves you color TP. You get shards of champions that you can't unlock yet, but it gets you closer. You also get these medallions that are going to allow you to get a guaranteed W no matter what you do. You can walk away with a brand new champion at four star bronze. You can walk away with a fuse for a champion. You can walk away with shards that allow you to unlock another top tier unit that you have been waiting to get on your roster. And if you can't get any of the superstars, you got a chance at walking away with your TPCT. You can walk away with a thousand training posters you can walk away with a five million coins you can walk away with a five star silver token there are a boatload of opportunities here so i say go in do what you can and even if you don't get sid you still got that prize wall that you can raid now i am going to say this now one thing that i did run into while doing these regular blitzes as you can see here is I did spend 300 bl uh, Blitz tickets to do a run with Vince McMahon, and what happened was, is that I didn't do nothing, it entered me into the Blitz, and everybody was already dead. Then I exited out of the Blitz, went back in, and it showed me like, oh, you cleared the Blitz with 100%, but I didn't get the medallions from the glitch, and I also didn't get the bag from the glitch, and it did take my Blitz tickets. So please be cautious and be on the lookout for this with this glitch. It will hit you out of nowhere. It happened to me. I'm sharing it with you now, so you are aware of what's going on. Literally, it will take your Blitz tickets It'll enter you in. Everyone's already beaten. You don't have to do a single damn thing. And then, boom, you have to exit out, re-enter the Blitz. It'll say you cleared it when you didn't. And then you're out of 300 Blitz tickets. Now, you can obviously send a ticket to Scopely about this. But me, I'm not crying over 300 Blitz tickets. I got enough. 
I'm good. I'm Gucci. I also suggest also setting a goal for yourselves when you're doing these blitz runs. Me, for instance, I aim to do 200 blitz runs over this weekend. And yes, we do have a faction feud that's getting ready to go live. But luckily, this blitz did get launched a day ahead of the feuds. So there is no excuse for you to have gone in and been grinding out this blitz before that feud takes uh, takes over. One thing I also suggest to each and every single one of you is this. A couple of things. First and foremost, if you're trying to save health packs, look, this is the time to be running fodder. Now, granted, if you got maxed out perks and everything, good for you. You can just turn one everybody easily. But if you really want to save health packs and want to spare, you know, heals, this is what I suggest. Taking your, taking your fodder in and having one champion that has a maxed out move, you swap it out before the blitz begins. Once you enter that blitz, you swap that max move in. I've showcased this before in the past, and this will help you clear everyone out. I did that with Razor Ramon here, as you can see. We went from going up against a four-star silver Goldberg to facing a one-star gold Goldberg. And this is why I literally changed up the changed up the moves and that changed up the difficulty, meaning I've only had to spend, you know, up to two health packs per run. If that, if, if it came down to it, outside of that, it's just been one health pack per run. So that's going to help out a lot. And another thing that helps this go by quicker, because I know some people might get annoyed about using the same champion over and over again. I plan on doing 200 runs, right? So pretty much I'm going to do 10 runs with 20 different superstars. So I did 10 runs with Zombie Austin. I did 10 runs with Vince McMahon. I did 10 runs with Razor Ramon. I'm doing 10 runs with Ricochet, Doink, Rated R Superstar Edge. The list can go on. But each time I hit a champion, I do 10 runs with that champion, and then I swap out for someone different, somebody new. And that's going to help out with keeping you on your P's and Q's while you grind, and it doesn't get boring because you have to switch up the way that you're utilizing your different champions. And as you can see, I was running a four-star Silver Zombie Austin, and then I'm running a three-star Bronze Fodder Level Razor Ramon with a maxed out uh, submission. So... This is just something to truly consider to help yourselves out when it comes to doing this blitz because I strongly advise everyone do this blitz, especially if you are free to play. It isn't like they're like this. Like if you can max out the contest, kudos to you because maybe you've been sitting on, you know, hundreds of thousands, maybe millions of blitz tickets. So you can do this until your heart's content and easily max this out without spending a single dime. There are going to be people who do buy the offers and it is what it is. I wish you the best of luck. But even if you don't walk away with Sid, you still have an opportunity to walk away with some top notch beast mode rewards and resources, a brand new superstar, TPCT, Okay, you got a chance at some straps. Do yourselves a favor and do as much grinding as you can. And even when the feud goes live, as I suggested in the previous video, finish your feud, clear out your opponent, wait for your partner to finish up. And while you're waiting on your partner in the queue, just go and do a couple matches, you know, finish out a couple matches and then return to the feud. Then, you know, you go into your next feud, okay? You beat your you beat your lane, you beat all your opponents, blitz a little more. That's how you do it. It isn't overstimulating yourself or overwhelming yourself. Just balance out the workload and you'll still be able to prosper. So with that being said, y'all, I hope you're enjoying this, um, this brand new blitz. I hope you're enjoying the contest. Sid is just a monster, man. He is incredible, can bleed people to death turn power gems into blast gems to blow up the board, a choose move, okay? This guy is a monster, and especially if he's going up against someone who utilizes power gems, he can just turn those power gems into blast gems to blow up the board even further. This guy's going to be a solid counter to many people. He's going to be dangerous. A striker that utilizes not just power gems, but a bleed and blast gems. And on top of that, has a choose black gem generation move. You throw straps and skill plates into that. This dude is going to be a monster. But even if you don't get him, you can still be a winner. So with that being said, y'all, bad times don't last. But champions do. 
be on the lookout for this glitch, y'all. It could cost you some uh, some blitz tickets, and especially now. I said I wouldn't care about the the the, the regular blitz tickets because it's three hundred. You know, you can easily make those back up, especially with the MLC prize wall available. But those premium blitzes, if that happens on the premium blitz run, yeah, I would definitely be sending a ticket in for that. But um. Let me know your thoughts about this contest. Let me know your thoughts about this blitz. How are you doing so far? Have fun. I'm not going to hold y'all for long because I got to get back to grinding out the, the blitz myself. And I'm trying to do as much as I can before I lay down for a little bit before the few grind starts. But um, definitely do as much as you can. Raid that prize wall. Get a brand new champion. Add on to your TPCT training posters, coins, and tokens. Do those absolutely free pulls, you might get lucky and actually pull Sid. Like I said, you know, you might get lucky. You might get some of them premium loot pulls. You might get 1,200 shards here. And then next up, it's followed up with 400 shards. Unlock him at four-star silver. You could pull him at four-star gold. Anything can happen in this game. You can't rule it out. It's highly possible. The same way people have done a single pull and pulled a top tier unit, the same way that people have done a 20 pull and pulled a top tier unit, you can do an absolutely free to, uh, free to play role and walk away with a God mode champion. But at the same time, don't be surprised if you get scoped. But if you do get scoped, those are dupity dupes that help, you know, save and preserve your training posters. And those are also dupity dupes that could lead to a fuse up for a champion or you possibly unlocking somebody else, even if it wasn't Sid. But with that being said, y'all, mad love to each and every single one of you and my beloved hashtag champions fam. Hashtag make WWE champions better. And until next time, peace.